Hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update. Intel guru Frank26 has shared an interesting boots on the ground report from Iraq. According to the television news he cited, the Central Bank of Iraq governor and team are meeting with the United States Treasury Department specifically about Iraqi banks. The discussions appear to be centered around the rehabilitation of these Iraqi banks to bring them into compliance with U.S. Treasury regulations. The reporting indicates this reform of the banking sector is a critical component for maximizing the economic reforms underway in Iraq. Frank 26 claims he has been emphasizing that these 28 Iraqi banks are a key part of the process for Iraq to reinstate their currency. While the banking reforms are an internal matter, he notes the involvement of external private sector banks like those his contact a kid walking stick is connected within the US. To understand the significance of this development, we need to look at the historical context. Iraq's banking system has been crippled by decades of war, sanctions, and instability. The 2003 invasion and occupation further decimated financial institutions in the country. In the years since, rebuilding a robust and modern banking sector has been one of the biggest challenges facing Iraqi officials. Bringing the banks up to international standards, especially those of the US Treasury, has been an imperative. Why is coordination with the US Treasury so important? The US dollar is the world's primary reserve currency. For the Iraqi dinar to regain a stable global footing and become tradable again, Iraqi banks must meet all US requirements. These regulations help prevent money laundering, terrorism financing, and other illicit activities. The 28 banks likely being referred to are a combination of private and government owned institutions in Iraq. Many are older, established names like Rafid Bank and Rashid Bank. Others are newer arrivals like the Iranian bank Bamali operating in Iraq. Getting all of these 28 banks through the rehabilitation process and certified by the US Treasury is clearly pivotal. Once designated as compliant, they can reconnect with the global finance system for currency trading, lending, and investment flows. We have seen some Iraqi banks slowly being given approval to deal in US dollars in recent years. However, this latest meeting suggests a broader, systematic overhaul is in the works for the entire Iraqi banking sector. For the average Iraqi citizen, successful banking reforms can pave the way for a stronger, internationalized currency. A more stable and tradable dinar creates greater economic opportunity and purchasing power. Exchange rates could dramatically improve. Additionally, modernized banks provide greater access to loans, mortgages, and other financial services for businesses and individuals. This can fuel entrepreneurship, investment, job creation, and an overall higher standard of living. Of course, details remain limited, and the process is still unfolding. However, Frank 26's perspective aligns with many other Intel providers who have long stated the Iraqi banking sector is the highest priority. With the US Treasury involvement now overtly confirmed, we may be reaching a critical juncture. Those invested in the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar have been waiting years for clear signs of substantive economic reforms like this. Only time will tell if it does indeed lead to their highly anticipated currency reinstatement event. But it certainly appears to be a significant step in that direction. Thanks for the watching my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.